Hi, are you feeling a bit overwhelmed? It's understandable if you're a beginner, but even if you're a seasoned raw feeder, there are things you might be doing that contribute to your overwhelm. The reality of this is, these mistakes are pretty common. And unfortunately for me, I've made every single one of them. Number one, buying too much too quickly. Becoming a raw feeder unlocked a whole new world for me. Cuts of meat that I used to pass by on the meat aisle were now like gold. On trips, I just had to stop at local international markets to see what unique parts I could buy. And I also found myself going on raw food supplier websites and purchasing fun new proteins so I could add in more variety. Doing this was a lot of fun, but I quickly found myself becoming overwhelmed with how full the freezer was getting. Once I started having to raw feed multiple different species, I realized I needed to get a chest freezer solely for their raw food. This was great for a while, but as my excitement for protein variety grew, so did my inventory. At one point, my pet's freezer was so full that meat started to overflow into the human freezer. And during meal prep, I would thaw so many things at once that I had to use my bathtub as a thawing basin. Now, don't get me wrong, if you have the space for a bulk purchase, especially if it's something that's on sale, buying a lot of meat at once can save you money. However, if you're like me who only has a stand-up chest freezer, it's probably best to only buy what you need for the next few preps before getting more. Number two, prepping weekly. Prep day can either be exciting or completely daunting. And I think I figured out what's made it a daunting task for me. Because I didn't buy in bulk and I also didn't have much room to thaw a lot at once, I was usually the victim of a weekly prep. On top of this, I'm feeding multiple different animals. So I went through a lot of meat quickly. I thought that weekly prepping was the best method for me, but it quickly started to feel like an overwhelming chore. Seeing my seven prepped containers dwindle away so quickly was sad. And before I knew it, I was taking everything out to do it all over again. The major turning point for me though, was that I noticed some meats were going bad from the weekly freezing and thawing. I cannot stand wasting raw meat. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and power through prepping four weeks of meals for my boys at once. It was a tedious process, but I felt a huge weight lifted off my shoulders knowing that I didn't have to do this for another month. Additionally, the next time I did prep, I was actually excited because I found that I missed it a little. Number three, doing guesswork when trying to balance. I have a confession to make. Before I really started calculating the specific nutrient numbers in a meal, I did a lot of visual balancing, aka guesswork. As a beginner, this is often how you start out, but I always suggest you learn how to find the nutrients in a food, as well as how much of each nutrient your pet needs. Visually balancing may work well for seasoned raw feeders who have a lot of experience formulating meals, but for beginners, it's just not the best long-term approach. Back then, I had been feeding raw for about a year, and my knowledge on balancing was decent, but I knew my ferret's recommended nutrient intake was probably a little off. He did also eat whole prey, which are essentially balanced meals, but it still bothered me that I didn't fully understand how to formulate. Not long after though, I finally took my deep dive into pet nutrition. I wanted to learn how to not only balance for ferrets, but cats and dogs as well. In the next few years, I read more veterinary books, I enrolled myself in a very intensive canine nutrition course, and I studied the National Research Council's book of nutrient requirements for dogs and cats like it was my Bible. Now, do you need to go through nutrition courses and read a ton of books before you start raw feeding your pet? No but I personally just wanted a good foundation. There are actually a few free resources out there where you can learn pretty quickly. I recommend these two videos. 